The Glass Fire Complex fire that is is being called started on the east side of the Napa Valley Sunday morning. So how did it get all the way to Santa Rosa in such a short time? KPIX 5's John Ramos watched it happen and has this report. Last night about 7:30 I was standing right here taking pictures as the fire crested Glass Mountain there in the distance. But then I noticed something happening on the mountains on the other side of the valley. It started as a small plume of smoke. And as I watched, it became a steady glow. The fire had picked up about 6 p.m. and was moving in the hills along Silverado Trail, which runs along the east side of the valley. The winds were actually fairly calm when it suddenly began burning on the west side. Jack Cassane was with a group of onlookers watching from the safety of Highway 29, or so he thought. It looked like you were watching a show. It was sort of stationary almost as it was burning on the hills, but indeed, instead, uh, the flames were lifting the embers up and over the vineyards onto forests on the other side. Yeah, but people didn't even realize that was happening. No, it was, you couldn't tell. Staring at it, you couldn't tell. When we're talking about embers, this is what you can find in downtown St. Helena today. Chunks of burning wood carried by the wind that are so light and dried out that they crush to dust in your hand. In Napa, the grape vineyards have always been considered an ideal fire break. Tom Davies has been in the wine business here in the valley for decades and couldn't believe it was possible to jump it. I mean, the valley at that point is about two miles wide. So, it, it, you know, I, I was, you know, no way it's going to hit the west side of the valley. But it did, and now many who felt secure going to bed are experiencing loss as well, including V. Satui winery founder Dario Satui. He spent 15 years building Castello di Amorosa, a replica of a 16th century Italian castle. Now the huge storage building holding millions of dollars of bottled wine is ruined. And Dario is left to wonder, what if? You know, I thought it was over the Silverado Trail, so I thought we were fine, but I was wrong. And I, and I should have stayed up all night. I'm sorry I went to bed. I don't know even what I could have done had I stayed up. He is not alone. And with fires now burning on both sides of the valley, a lot of people may find it hard to get to sleep tonight. In Napa Valley, John Ramos, KPIX 5.